Oh, here we go. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna pull a clutch of eggs, pull a clutch of eggs out here, and uh, oh, wrong incubator. So it's not in this one either. No, it's, in the, it's a cold one. It's in our extreme overflow one. I'm kind of excited about this, considering that this has some of the most most of the genes that that are uh, pretty crazy genetics. Let's just put it that way. I gotta shut this incubator. So what we have here is a unique clutch. Oh, it did do it. That's yeah, crazy. <laughs> so here's the deal. What we hope to have here is some genes that are gonna crisscross. We have a snake here that's a granite back, tiger. These are the genes: granite back, tiger, uh, head albino, head anthrax, and het genetic stripe. So there's a whole bunch of clashing. Hopefully, gonna happen here. The first snake is a, a crazy tiger. It actually. I was uh, impressed. Uh, we've been patiently waiting for this clutch, and it's it's you know, it's pretty nice. It's, uh, it's not quite, you know, I mean, granted, I'm not saying we have a whole new morph here, but with all that stuff going on, it's a very beautiful snake. That's the first one to hatch right there. And it just, it, you know, the weird part about it is it looks like a super. So it's mostly that it looks like a super that makes it unique, but it's got some nice lines. See the back's completely striped out. Looks like exactly like a super tiger. It does look like a super. And of course, guess what, guys? There's no possibility it's a super tiger. The female was an albino genetic stripe lavender. So that also means that these are these half these eggs are het white phase and half of these eggs are het uh, purple phase. So we're pretty excited about it. And uh, for those of you who don't know, is after the egg breathes for a while, the uh, the eggs the, all the blood goes back down into the egg. So you see there's, there's blood vessels always at the top, that's pretty normal. So it doesn't matter if you cut a little egg, a little hole or a big hole, you still have to break away the blood vessels. Now we're hoping to have some neat stuff in here. That's a normal hat, normal quad, well, how many, how, what is that thing carrying? If you call it, including the granite back, there's five genes. So it's a five gene with a triple recessive in it. So making the, when we breathe these back, it's gonna be really complicated. Yeah. <laughs> we mean be, that's where it's gonna get really crazy. So special when we add when we bring it to a sunfire. But then we lose a genetic stripe gene. But we'll gain that back later. Man, there's another super looking snake. So this clutch here is is our future clutches to make the stuff that nobody's ever seen. Because this the whole concept here is to try to create some new genetics. Now, a lot of people say, oh, you know, you guys that are making all these genetic things, you're inbreeding to get it and all that. Well, I hate to disappoint you guys. Five different things in here didn't come from two females. It didn't come from the two females aren't sisters. They're not related in any way, shape, or form. This is genetic diversity, like insane genetic diversity. Now, you see this egg here, you can see it has already cut it's completely drained back. Yeah, so you can actually, I think you can see the difference between, and that's what I expected to see the more we breed back, is to find out that granite back's its own gene. So, that one had a little hole right there, see it? Everything's 100% here, there's no... No, maybe. 100% head genetic stripe, 100% head albino, 100% head anthrax. Yeah, so for those of you that think, still don't believe in the, woo, that's a cool snake. I mean, it's just a cool pattern. <clears throat> for those people that still don't understand the granite back thing, the more, the further we get into it, the more it seems to be correct. Because in this clutch, you will see that we'll have granite backs and non granite backs. And of course, every single one's head anthrax, so there's no maybes about that. So, we won't have any super granite backs, it's not possible. It was important too, we gave up a whole clutch of albino genetic stripes to make this. 
and uh, purple albino genetic stripes to boot. But if you, you know, unfortunately, you have to invest in your future when you're a breeder. So those of you out there that you know been doing it for a while, you understand that sometimes you have to take a step backwards to go forwards, and that's what this clutch is. And it's a temporary backwards because <clears throat> I'm sure in no time at all we'll be able to get back and and get all this stuff to come out. Well, you're taking one step backwards and going three steps forward, so... Well, five, technically. Right. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So, it, took, it takes a lot of work. A lot of times when you guys watch these videos and you see all these crazy different things coming out from all these people, let me tell you, most of them have worked long and hard to get what they got. There's always that occasional person that has had enough, you know, could afford to buy the really good genetics and get a little bit of a head start on the whole thing. But boy, I'll tell you, even then, it's not easy. So it, obviously, as much as you can, you want to buy it forward, pay it forward, so you can, you know, get a further ahead. But for like stuff like this, it's not possible to even spend the money to get these babies because most of the genes aren't available. Even you know, as adults, you can, you know, I mean, you can do this later. You got to grow the babies up. And just to get the female for this clutch alone took years and years. Right. The, exactly, the the parents of this these clutches we have probably oh man look at that look at that wow look at the back on that oh that's not the back I thought that was the back and I was really blown away but they're just really good looking snakes hat for most everything of course of course on the the other cool part is is we have some of this stuff already doubled up on other genes so we're going to be able to bring in sunfire and platinum and stuff like that when we will crisscross it back and forth in order to bring in the different genes at different points in time so we'll slowly be able to get to the point of having uh, that's a pretty snake having other snakes out of this clutch so we can out of this clutch we can make a lot of new snakes that with just inserting a different male Uh, Tim's got a lot of really cool clutches in the incubator already. Tell them about some of your cool breedings you got going. <clears throat> well, the next clutch to cut is a is a platinum albino platinum genetic or sorry golden child. <laughs> so Part so we're hoping to have. I tried to explain this a minute ago, so I've had a little run through. So we're hoping to have platinum albino golden childs. We're hoping to have platinum albinos. We're hoping to have uh, golden childs. Uh, head albino. We're hoping to have uh, golden child platinum head albinos. We're hoping to have uh, regular golden child head albinos. I'm probably repeating myself, but uh, we should have some really cool stuff in that clutch. And guess what, guys? That's only two days away. You may not even have seen this video yet <laughs> by the time you see the other video. So you better watch all the videos. <laughs> so. And if we're going to maybe make a video in like two days and show you how everything looks in, in like if you wait three or four days. I purposely cut the eggs right away and let you guys experience the actual cutting of the eggs because I want you to know how to do it. I could just give you a video when they're all ready to come out but then you don't learn anything. So we work real hard at trying to help you guys that are breeding and for those of you that don't breed snakes and you wonder what I'm doing, I'm releasing snakes from the eggs so they do not drown in the egg. I'm not into drowning eggs. And that's the way it is. So <clears throat> this ain't the wild. We don't call our animals in our incubator. So anyway, hope you're having a good time. Don't forget to subscribe to us. We're going to be going to Africa here soon. Hopefully we're going to be bringing some new videos out. And you're going to have some good times watching some of that stuff. And uh, have a good day, guys. Take care. <clears throat>